Hi everyone and welcome back to some more Civilization 6. So, let's continue where we left off. And now that we're not at war with Scythia anymore, it would be a good moment to send a trade route to Toronto. Because we still need a trade route there for the quest. So let's just do it. How much will it be worth? Plus free production and plus free gold for Corinth. Yeah, plus free production will be quite nice for Corinth. Off you go then. And what else can we do? Let's have a look. More improvements. We got three more builds to use. Let's have a look then. Should probably improve the rise by now. That seems like a good idea, yeah. Let's go and do that. As for the other builder, mostly farms I guess, but would be nice to grab a mine. And maybe we should buy that stone. We probably should, yeah. We do have quite a lot of gold, but let's not spend it all at once. I still want a harbor in Corinth. And in general my plan is to find the second continent and maybe try to either settle it or invade it and see how easy or how hard that's going to be. That's what I want to try. But it will take a little bit of time to actually do it. Still, that's one of the goals for this game. Back we go into the city. And yep, fortify I suppose. And back into the city. Alright, two turns to finish the shrine and then we'll need a temple. And then we can grab an apostle. That's the plan. We need to spread our religion again. And maybe get some inquisitors. Oh, Norway wants to give us a relic. Well, not give, but sell. This is an okay deal, actually. I will accept. That is a pretty good deal. Okay then, let's check our great works. For faith and aid tourism. Okay then, not bad. We still got one relic slot in the temple. As for the settler, where exactly do we want the city? We could just start right here and have fresh water. That's probably the best city location. And then we could get a district right here, for example. Yeah, not a bad idea. It won't be an amazing city, but I'd like to have a city here anyway. Just to make sure no one will cut off Corinth at any point. Fortify until healed. And we got three more builds, so we can get a mine and then we can still get a quarry to improve the stone. Sounds good. And focus Corinth on production for now. Or maybe both. Can we make it grow in a reasonable time frame? Not really. So focus on production for now. Because I'd like to get a harbor ASAP. That is our goal at the moment. Heal back to full, maybe move back into our territory. And next. We still have to improve the copper. But we'll do that, no problem. And we need to get some defenses against Germany. I suppose this would be a good moment to upgrade our units. The hoplites. Unless I want to wait to pick up professional army. Maybe. We'll get mercantilism in 7 turns. We are making 40 gold per turn. Screw it, I'm not going to switch to professional army. We'll just upgrade like this. There we go. So that's 400 gold. And we still have to upgrade the archer. Let's do that then. And now we need a temple. That will take 5 turns. And then we can get an apostle. Hopefully it won't be too late. It shouldn't be too late. And we got almost 700 faith right now. It should be enough. Improve rice. And encampment district is almost done. I'm still a little bit upset about Spain stealing the only source of nitre that we had. The they will pay for it. Change the facts. And we got scientific theory. So now we unlocked research agreement, which is completely different than research agreements in Civ 5. You target a specific technology. And the more expensive the technology is, the longer the agreement will take. And at the duration of the agreement, each party 
earns the boost for that technology. I don't think we can actually get a research agreement with anyone because we can't get a declaration of friendship, unfortunately. But oh well. What about Norway? Let's have a look. We could try to get open borders, no? Can we send an embassy? I think we already did. Let's check our relationship. Minus 5 because of the navy. Minus 4 because of different government. Alright. Spain. Yes, yeah, Spain doesn't like us too much. Not that I expected them to. Unfriendly. Minus 7. We occupy a city belonging to their friend or ally. What the heck? And she wants to expand to our continent. Alright, I guess we won't have a lot of friends in this game. But we can still find more AIs on the other continent. Anyway, research. We could go directly for flight right now. I don't think we'll be getting the boost that requires industrial era or later wonder. It seems unlikely. It seems very, very unlikely. Let's just research flight then. Sounds good to me. So that will unlock the hangar, the aerodrome, which is a district that allows you to build and store aircraft. The observation balloon, which is a very interesting support unit. It adds plus one range to adjacent bombard strength units. So if we take, let's say, artillery. Artillery only has two tile range in Civilization 6. But you can use an observation balloon to extend the range to three. Which is a pretty interesting mechanic. There is rocket artillery later on, which gets free tile range, but you only get access to rocket artillery much, much later, in information era. So right before the end of the game, pretty much, or close to the end of the game. But artillery doesn't get free range, unless you use the observation balloon. So yeah, let's research flight, unless there's something else that we need really badly. Some bombards. Well, metal casting leads to ballistics. And then we could get some field cannons, which is a ranged unit upgrade. But I think I'd rather get flight right now. So we'll go for flight. That's 12 turns. Not too bad. And we finished the encampment district. Let's see, what do we want next? We can get one more district. Entertainment complex. We will need an entertainment complex somewhere, but I think I'd rather get it somewhere around here. Because with the entertainment complex, you can get... I can show you actually. That was in civics, games and recreation. You can get an arena, but also a colosseum. I don't think anyone built that yet. And the Colosseum is nice because it extends amenities to each city center within six tiles. I don't think there's a way to check if anyone built that. They might have. Well, anyway, let's decide what we're going to get. We do have minus one amenities in the vessels. So perhaps we should get an entertainment complex after all. We could build it on the desert, which is going to be pretty useless otherwise. Alright, fine, let's build an entertainment complex. It will only take 7 turns. That's not too bad. And what else do we need? Minus 1 amenities here as well. 13 turns to build an entertainment complex. I mean, I suppose we'll need that sooner or later. Probably sooner rather than later. Alright, fine, we'll build it here as well. And fortify. Yep, fortify. We got two more builds on the builder. Alright. Fortify until healed. Do we need any more upgrades or did we get all of them now? I think we got all of them. Well, we need Niter, which we don't have. That is really annoying. We might be able to buy Niter from someone, but the problem is that everyone dislikes us. 
So, what about this city? I will not start a city on top of bananas, because that's silly. We'll do it over here, so done. Now we won't have to worry about Corinth getting cut off by anyone. Spain probably won't like this. That's obvious. But I don't care about their opinion. We can move some of our units in that general direction, in case Spain actually decides to declare war. I don't think they will, but they might. And let's start from ancient walls, you know, just in case. It's probably not necessary, but better safe than sorry. And spy. So, 50% chance to siphon some funds. Alright, let's maybe go for gain sources. Which means spies will operate at two levels higher for 24 turns. We got 100% chance for mission success and it will take 6 turns. Accept. As for the builder, we could remove the jungle or the rainforest, whatever, which is 55 production and 55 food. We'll keep it for now. Can we get any more production here? Yes. We can. We can get a lumber mill. Let's get one farm and one lumber mill. Alright. Sounds good. We are about to finish the art museum in Athens. And what do you want? Yeah, he denounced us. I can't imagine why. Nothing to do with our city, surely. You broke a promise. I don't care. He's going to hate us one way or the other. And we got a great person, nice. That's going to be a great engineer. Oh, that's very nice. And now we can use him for the Potala Palace, maybe. That is tempting. We could also get the Ruhr Valley. But where? Probably in Athens. I guess that would make the most sense. Anyway, harbor. We need that harbor by now, but we need to buy a tile because I'm not going to build a harbor on top of a resource. That's silly. Right here. Doesn't really matter if it's going to be on the north side or on the south side. This one will be better because we'll buy a tile towards the fish and then we can buy the fish later. Or even right now if we want to. We should improve these two resources. But yeah, harbor, that's also plus two gold. We got one more build. So I guess we'll improve the crab. Sounds good. And there's the engineer. He will wait. We are about to finish the art museum. We can decide what we're going to get once that's done. And actually, let's build a mine near Athens. That will help production. Move into our newest city. And next. We are doing quite well so far. But religion. That's becoming a problem. Oh, that was... Yeah, that was two apostles fighting each other. So, theological combat. And we got inspiration from the art museum. Nice. So, what about that engineer? We got several different options. We could rush Oxford University. We could rush Potala Palace for the diplomatic policy slot. We could rush the Ruhr Valley for production, but I would have to build a factory first. Or we could also rush the wonder we just unlocked. Where is it? Yeah, Bolshoi Theater. Uh, oh no, we didn't unlock that yet, but we'll unlock it once we get opera and ballet. It's basically the civic equivalent of the Oxford University. I kind of want all of these wonders, but we can only use engineer for one of them. Or two of them, because we can rush one wonder twice or two different wonders once. I think we'll go for the Ruhr Valley. That's plus 30% production in the city and plus one production for each mine and quarry. And we can get quite a few mines in range of Athens. 
Yeah, we got quite a few kills without mines still. I think we'll go for the Ruhr Valley. But hold on. It must be built adjacent to river. So on one of these tiles. I could remove the bananas if I really wanted to. We would pretty much have to do it. Because this is a district. I suppose we could remove the lumber mill. Well, let's grab that factory and we'll decide once it's done. That sounds good to me. And we could still use another builder, actually. Let's grab a builder then, that's only four turns. Improve the crab. There we go. Looking good. And the engineer will wait. Fortify. And right, that's two units inside the same city. Next. So once the harbor is done, we'll be able to build a few ships and explore the sea. I'd like to see how far away the other continent is. We obviously know where the other continent is because we know where the Norwegian capital is. But it would be nice to see how far exactly it is. So let's use the last build to improve the bananas. I suppose that's fine. Alright, sounds good. That does remove the jungle. But we don't really need that jungle. We can also still get one more shader. Maybe after the entertainment complex. Or after anything else. What did we just finish? Oh yeah, the temple. Right, so now we can grab an apostle. That's exactly what we'll get. And he has to wait for the next turn. Trakota army is still available. Not sure if we really need it. And that's 19 turns. We should just build an industrial zone. No, we should build an armory. Right. We need to build an armory to be able to recruit military engineers. And that is the only city that can build an armory right now. Sleep with the engineer. So far so good. I wonder if there will be a spot for a city on the other continent or if it's all settled by the AI. We'll find out. So, Apostle. We will launch an Inquisition, which will allow us to recruit Inquisitors. So, like that. And now we can recruit Inquisitors. How expensive are they? Only 80 faith. So, they can eliminate the presence of other religions in their territory and initiate theological combat with units of other religions. We will grab one and we will probably grab a missionary as well. Yep. We do have a religion in at least two cities, Sparta and Corinth. A religion that's not ours, that is. So that's what the Inquisitor is for. But we also need our religion back in Athens. So that's what we need a missionary for. Having seen a non -market and we got economy, mercantilism. I suddenly understood much better what I liked about a market economy. So plus four gold and plus one faith from all trade routes. Which means also internal trade routes, I assume. I mean, if it's all trade routes, then it's all trade routes. This also unlocks the privateer and I think that's what we're going to build once we're done with the harbor. It cannot be seen unless adjacent to it. So that is nice. I don't think... well... I do actually want that policy, but... What do we want to give up? I'm not giving up craftsmen. I'm not giving up Medina Quarter. I like rationalism. I need amenities. Newly trained builders gain two extra actions. Yeah, we kind of still need that. I also like free market. 
So, yeah. I guess we'll have to pass for now. Unless we give up serfdom. But I don't want to give up serfdom. At least not yet. We can pick it up later. After the next policy in 7 turns. Because we are still getting a builder. And I would like him to have 5 actions. Anyway, Inquisitor. Let's go remove heresy, shall we? Yep. Let's. And we'll get a missionary. So... Faith by... A missionary. 100 faith. Sounds good. And that still leaves us with 541 faith. What do you want? Denounced us. I don't care. I can already tell Scythia will be a very annoying neighbor. <laughs> And a pretty dangerous neighbor, too. Because she can really overwhelm you with a lot of units. That's because she can train two units for one. Anyway, spy. We could steal a tech boost. Including rifling. Not bad. 63%. Let's go for it. Because I can show you what happens if we fail. If we fail. So, 63% chance. 28% chance of mission failure. 9% chance for being captured or killed. Six turns duration. If discovered, Spain will lose respect for us and gain a castle's belly. You can't lose something you never had. I don't think Spain ever had respect for us. So there we go, we'll go for that. And let's move. Off you go, people. And yes, the missionary too. Come on. All right. And what's going on? 11 population, nice. Minus one amenities. I suppose we should build an arena right away. Probably. Oh, hold on. Is that wonder still available? I don't think so. Yeah, someone built it long ago, I suppose. I don't think there's a way to check which wonders have been built, like in Civ 5. At least, not that I'm aware of. I'm pretty sure there's no way to check. Well, anyway, next. Production. Amphitheater, industrial zone, campus. We don't have a good location for a campus here, so that doesn't really make any sense. We could get a defensive encampment, which isn't really necessary. We could just grab an industrial zone on this tile over here, that's plus two. I suppose we should. Alright, fine. Whatever works. We still got over 600 gold. It will take a while to build it, but... Fine. Alright, let's keep moving to Sparta. And we'll send a missionary to Athens, I suppose. How's that builder? He's right here. And we got another great person. Nice. That's a great artist. Okay, then. Do we actually have a slot for that? We do. Okay. And let's check our great works. Oh yeah, we got two more slots, apparently. No, we got a lot more slots. The art museum has three slots for great works of art. Or relics, whatever. Sculpture, portrait, landscape, and religious. Right, these are the categories. Provides free culture and two tourism per turn when not themed. Okay. And what's the theming bonus here? Theming bonus doubling output when displaying objects of the same type from different artists. Okay, next turn. We are about to finish another Acropolis. Come on. Also, remember that I'm playing on a large map. And turn times so far are pretty good, I have to say. 
It seems promising. I always wanted to play on big maps in Civ, but the problem in Civ 5 is that the turn times can get really, really bad in the late game. So I'm hoping that will be better in Civ 6. One of the reasons why I'm playing on a large map to see how turn times will be in the late game. And so far they are pretty good. Anyway, production again. Let's have a look. Amphitheater, hold on, we need amenities here, don't we? We do, but there's no easy way to get that other than through entertainment complex. Minus one isn't too terrible, but we also need housing. You know what we should do? We should get a builder. Because we need a lot of improvements around this city. And some improvements do give housing. Well, 0 0.5 housing. But it's still housing. Alright, remove heresy. Like so. Nice one. And we can get one more sculpture. There. Good stuff. We can actually get free, apparently. Alright. Nice. I'm used to great people only having one charge in Civilization 5. That is not the case in Civilization 6. Well, it is the case with some of them. But many of them have multiple charges. And Envoy. Toronto? Yeah. Extra production is always nice. So Toronto it is then. Off you go. And one more. Awesome. We got three great works from that guy. And here are the great works. Five culture and four tourism. No theming, unfortunately, but oh well. Fine by me. So spread religion to our own capital, which is pretty silly, but whatever. I guess we'll have to do it one more time. All right. 13 housing. And five out of six amenities. Might want to do something about that. I think we have to remove heresy from Athens with the Inquisitor. Looks that way, so let's go do that, because, you know, I want to have my own religion in my own friggin' capital. Imagine that. Yes, my treasury is filling up nicely. That's his hidden agenda, I suppose. Seven turns to finish the harbor. We are getting there. Inquisitor to Athens, and what about the missionary? We could convert one of the city-states, perhaps. What about this one? Yeah, five from Hinduism. That's total of ten. Okay. That's seven out of eight total. And what about Corinth? Oh yeah, we do have a religion in there. All right, I guess we'll just save the missionary for now. We could try to convert some other city. One of the Roman cities. Or we could just save the missionary for now. So sleep. And we'll remove heresy on the next turn. And what? Barbarian scout, really? Where did that guy come from? Well, he will die. Bye. It's been nice not knowing you. Production. We finish the arena. What do we want next? Good question. Probably barracks. We got one encampment district with stable. So now we could use barracks in the other one because, you know, that makes sense. One each. And arena. We are at zero amenities, so I suppose the arena could wait a little bit. Let's grab another builder. We do have some progress towards the settler, but we can always finish him in some future. And Sparta. Monument. Alright, Athens. Wait, what? We need more time to get there? Apparently we do. Okay, never mind. Trader. 
Let's have a look. What's the best trade route around here? We could actually trade with one of the AIs. So, for example, England. This is a pretty good trade route. Two production, 12 gold. Two culture and one faith. Yeah, let's go for that one. That is a pretty good one. Armory is almost done. So now we'll be able to recruit military engineers. And I think we'll grab one. They can build forts. And some forts would be useful. On this tile, if for example. Oh, and we finished flight. So now we can build aerodromes. The the next day, it's now and observation landing. balloons as well as biplanes. And airstrip. Nice one. And what is our next research going to be? Why can we... Yeah, we can move the Inquisitor. So move the missionary out of the way. And remove heresy. There we go. We got our own religion in Athens again. Looks like we'll need one more Inquisitor. Which is fine. We got almost 800 faith. What's the next research going to be? Metal casting and then ballistics, probably? Cartography. We will not be building two harbors, like ever. Square rigging unlocks frigates. But the plan is to build the privateer. So there's no need to research cartography right now. I'd rather get metal casting. And then ballistics, probably. As an alternative, we could go for economics, but we'll have the time to build a second bank to get the boost. Build two neighborhoods. Yeah, we didn't even unlock neighborhoods yet. Metal casting. And I'm going to make a cut here, continue in the next episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.